But the best thing you can do for yourself is to start relaxing while you're warming up as a dancer and just make sound in various positions. And then when you get to standing openly where the column of air is free, that's going to be so easy because you will have already been singing and making sound in turn positions. Do you see what I mean? Right. right. Okay, where you're cutting, right. the, you're, you're, you're you know, squishing or making smaller the column of air. But visually, it would be great if you can start thinking of the air as going all the way down to the bottom of the spine like you do perhaps in meditation class. Mm -hmm. Okay, breathing in and thinking of the whole body as expanding. Mm -hmm. So we're not just breathing into our tummy. We're not just breathing into our abdomen. We're breathing into the back. Mm -hmm. We're breathing into the fists, into mm -hmm. the buttocks. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. allowing the visualization to be that air comes from the bottom of the spine, the, the first chakra, the lowest part of the torso, even lower. You can experiment with this. Sometimes I like to give the class the image that the voice, their voices, are coming from underneath their feet, mm -hmm. in the earth, three feet down, ten feet down, mm -hmm. and that they are empty. It's just a picture, right? But artists respond to pictures, no? And I think probably all people do, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, right now, in that, what you just saw, where do you think your breath was coming from? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Very good. So, when you're, when you're experimenting, you can do self-inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ask, you know, I'm moving, I'm singing, where is my breath coming from? Always try to conceive of it. Mm -hmm. as low in the body from now on, mm -hmm. not here, mm -hmm. way down here. Mm -hmm. It's much more grounded. Right. And your, your sound is going to ride on that column of air, mm -hmm. all right? Ideally without interruption. Now let's talk about what can interrupt. Okay. Lack of hair. Right. Yes, but why lack of air? I mean, obviously you're a dancer, so you don't have any problem with your breath. Well, what could happen? Probably uh, fear, excitement, or when you like get, you know, it's when you're, when you other, um, what is it called? It's called uh, sympathetic response, isn't it? The fear, flight, fee, what is it? Yes, when fight, fight or flight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's when I'm like, <laughs> So you have less hair. That's right. You right. have you have less air when you're in fear. That's for sure. But okay. But technically speaking, let's imagine there's no fear whatsoever. Okay. What do you suppose could get in the way of having the most air, uh, all the air you need? Making well, it easy. Get in easy. Way, yeah. Well, again, we have mm -hmm. have more air. Of, of having everything you need, everything you need for the song. You don't need more than the phrase of the song. Right. Right. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Well, usually it's tension in the body somewhere, and often that doesn't allow the full capacity. Like let's say the air to come in fully and, and expand. Is that what you're saying? That's that's part of it, and also doesn't allow you the column of air to come out fully. Right. Okay. So what can happen? For example, one of the big culprits in um, voice teaching is the back of the tongue the back of the tongue gets very tense. And so we have a number of exercises that we do to um, work with that tension and work on releasing it, allowing it to go. It's not even work, it's just releasing. Um, one of them is, and I'm going to show you this, you, you take your tongue and you pull it out of your mouth and you're holding it right. out here. That means that the back can't be holding because you're pulling it out. And then you're going to make a sound like I can't right. hold it back there if I'm holding it out here. It'll right. only go so far, so it can't buckle up. And the ideal position, as I understand it and as I feel it, because it's all about how you feel it too in your body, 
is that everything is open. The mouth is open. You, I mean, your last take, when you did your last note, you had this beautiful opening in the mouth. And this is unusual for people who've mm -hmm. never sung. Most people who've never sung don't want to open the mouth. Mm -hmm. And we have to. Your, your soft palate was lifted. That's great because it's making more space. And the tongue, we want to think of the tongue as lying flat down, okay, and being out of the way, except when it's needed for articulation. Right. Okay, so it's, it's, the, it's a very, very important muscle, and it's an articulator. But it's not there to get in our way. So mm -hmm. air is coming up the torso, mm -hmm. and if in the mouth, this tongue is getting up there, it can't, you know, air has to find its way around the tongue to get out. And that's why we do a lot of exercises for the back of the tongue. Now, there's something else, okay, in, in your case. There was one place where I noticed you holding tension. Did you see it? I will tell you what I think. Yeah. I think that I, have, I will have the tendency in singing or when, I don't know, something of a tendency of going this way more than I would go, I would go that way and open up from here. No, actually, okay, t let me tell you, I think I disconnect from there, therefore it's bringing me in. This is where I end up. And maybe I hide more better this way, physically, <laughs> it's better to this way versus being in this place. Okay. So it could be shoulder related? Yes. Right? The shoulders That's going exactly. forward. That's exactly right. Now, what I'm interested in is that you related it to the mid-back. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me about that. That's interesting. Yeah, because I would think that... Um, I don't know. I think that the way it works is that it's not just the shoulder that's there. It's the disconnection in the back that allows the shoulders to go forward. Meaning that if I am connected in my own torso and centered, if my shoulders are dropped down and connected to my lower back, mm -hmm. means that I am not two people, I'm one. Exactly. Right? So if I'm like this, like there's, there's an actual line of energy going in the back. Mm -hmm. If I don't have this, then I've, you distend, you know, it's like you, to ouvre, it's like your wings are misplaced, <laughs> right? They're not, that's, they're not like shit. That's, they're not in, that's in their pockets. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful image for it. I know exactly what you mean, and yes, I think you're right. And I think when you relaxed your shoulders back, you're also connecting this line with the hips. Totally. No. Yeah. There's a, li there's a line. Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a line of energy, and it feels more aligned and grounded to connect with the hips. And then there's this other language for this. Now, this you just said you've never sung before this in public. Okay. So, and and we talked about the fact that that's a fearful um, enterprise for a lot of people, yeah. especially if we're not going to be um, performers in the sense, uh, but we're, we're aiming for something different. We're aiming for Eleonora Duza, not for Sarah Bernhardt. Right. Okay. Right. The distinction between being someone who is revealing and, and soulful mm -hmm. versus someone who's flashy. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So someone who's soulful is being asked to give of their heart in a right. vulnerable way. Here's the heart chakra. The shoulders also collapse sometimes because we are shy, we are vulnerable, we don't really want to give of our heart. Now the other compensation for that is, you know, hyperextension en avant, and that wouldn't be good either. So what we're looking for is that beautiful balance. Right, that line of energy. That line of energy. That li that's interesting that the line of energy will go to the hips. You see, that's interesting, the hips being such a emotional storage, you mm -hmm. know, of all of our emotions really like landing in our hips. So if I disconnect from my hip literally, then you have, I have no way to share my emotion. Like I become two. I become the one you see, but not the one that I'm completely on. But if you connect, like if I sit in front of my hips and I just allow to just say what I have to say, sharing my heart, then it's like, 
the position is very important. My own body position will, will, will actually reveal if I'm doing it, yes or no. <laughs> well, that's the, the body that's never the lies. Truth. That's the truth. <laughs> the body doesn't lie. It doesn't because, lie. Listen, the ma magnificent thing is that the body expresses our unconscious. Mm, I love that. I love it too. That's why you became a dancer. I really do. I mean, you're dealing with the truth. The unconscious mind is so much bigger than the conscious mind and it's the storehouse of everything we need as artists. I mean, to be only using your conscious ideas, beliefs, feelings as an artist would make you so superficial. Yeah.